What this is behind me here is the telechrome tube. And these were experimental picture tubes made by John Logie Baird between about 1942 and 44. It could generate a 600 line color television image. Um, and this is in the middle of World War II, about 20 years before the UK officially adopted the color television system. It's extremely rare. It's the only surviving example in the world of a telechrome tube. Um, it's connected, of course, with my family, with, through my grandfather, being John Logie Baird. My father, as a boy of about uh, seven or eight years old, was brought into the laboratory, which he was normally banned from, and allowed to see the image on, the, on a telechrome. Uh, and he said uh, he could see the 3D effect. He could see the smoke from the pipe, which was being smoked by one of my grandfather's assistants. So that was where the color television, electronic color television, really uh, got its earliest beginnings, was in this laboratory during World War II. While bombs were falling, uh, they never got beyond the laboratory at that point, uh, unfortunately. Most of the technicians were working on radar. But John Logie Baird, um, he put his name forward to be included in that program. But because he was so uh, such a public person, I think they probably felt he was a bit of a risk to have uh, working on the radar program. So he was free basically to experiment on the next television system that would obviously restart once uh, the war had ended. I'm just very pleased that one of them has survived. I think it's a sense of relief every time I see it, really, uh, because so much of the television history uh, over the years has been lost, and it's it's a real it's, it's a it's a very r r uh, good thing to know that this particular tube did survive. I'm very aware of how fragile it is as well. So I, whenever I handle it, I'm probably the most frightened person. You, you wouldn't think so, but I'm the most frightened person to handle this tube because I do know that there's only one, and maybe I'm the person who knows the most that there is only one. Uh, left, perhaps, but I, I don't know. I like this tube because it's a 3D television tube as well, and most people think that 3D televisions started in the last few years, but actually there was serious consideration given to having a 3D television system during World War II. You would get a very good monochrome 3D image, and you, it would look like you would see the person actually almost inside, like the head and shoulders view of the test dummy here, inside the, uh, the glass.